Okay, in this video, we are going to use the first four non-zero terms of the power series expansion for inverse tangent of the x squared to approximate this integral. Of course, we have to remember our inverse tangent from first. So let me just write this down right here for you guys. The inverse tangent, and let me just put down x right here for the input for now. Well, hmm, I don't remember what this is. I think uh, it's equal to x and then minus x to the third power over three and there's no factorial and then plus x to the fifth power over five and then minus x to the seventh power over seven and then like this and we just want the first one non zero term so i think this is it All right you guys can leave a comment down below is to see if i got this right or wrong anyway well that input is just x i want to have x squared so let's go ahead and write down the inverse tangent of x squared and of course this right here we can just simply plug in x squared into all this x right here so we see that the first term is just going to be x squared and then minus well if you plug in x squared into here you raise that to a third power you multiply the powers you end up with x to the sixth power and then this is still over three right and likewise, you put this right here, you get 2 times 5, which is 10. So you have plus x to the 10th power over 5. And then minus, put it here, we get x to the 14 over 7. And let me just stop right here. So I shall now use approximation symbol because I'm not going to put on the dot, dot, dot. All right. All right. So from here, I will just go ahead and integrate this on both sides. Go ahead and do this from 0 to 1, don't forget the dx. Go ahead and do this from 0 to 1, and don't forget the dx. So we can just continue from here. Well, well, this is, well, I put on approximate already, so I'll put on equal next because we'll say this is approximately equal to the following. Anyway, go ahead and integrate this. We get x to the third power over 3, and then minus, you add 1 to this, which is x to the seventh power, divide by 7, you get 21. And then you add x to the, you add 1, which is 11, over divided by 11, so you get 55. And then you add 1 to this, so that will be x to the 15 over 7 times 15 is 105. So you put a 105 right here. And then you are going to plug in uh, these little numbers. Well, put 1 into all the x, you just get 1 on the top, right? So you just get 1 third minus 1 over 21 plus 1 over 55 and then minus 1 over 105. This is what happens when you have, when you plug in the 1 into all the x, right? So that's the first part and then you minus, when you put 0 into all the x, you just get a uh, 0 for all terms, so it's just like a big 0 right here. So you just pretty much do this, and then you will get approximately again, because once again, I'm using from here to here as approximated. Uh, the answer to this is approximately 0 0.29437. And this is pretty much it for this purpose. And now, of course, I will tell you guys, this right here, if you use like some kind of defense um, calculator or like Wolfram Alpha, you will end up with the answer approximately 0 0.27. 9, well, sorry, 0 0.2979, like this. I think this is much cooler. And since I use four decimal places over there, I should also use four decimal places here. So I'll put down uh, four right here. And you see that it's pretty good, right? pretty close. Right? Of course, I will do this all day long because it's just the power rule backwards. Anyway, that's it. And if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe.